वेलकम टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल मोदी मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग टूटोरियल सो इन दिस वीडियो आई वुड लाइक टू एक्सप्लेनिंग ऑन टू मेटल्स विच विल बी कम्प्लीटली सोल्यूबल इन टू लिक्विड स्टेट बट पार्सल इज सोल्यूबल इन टू सॉलिड स्टेट विथ एन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ लीड एंड टीम सो फॉर दैट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल द मेल्टिंग पॉइंट ऑफ लीड जिस यू कैन सी so lead having a melting point around 327 degree and tin having a melting point around 232 degree centigrade and the eutectic conditions as a eutectic temperature around 183 degree centigrade and eutectic compositions around 38 percentage of lead so that will be pb and 62 percentage of Tin, or you can say S N. So draw a phase diagram for lead and tin for the given conditions for eutectic. Now some more conditions because both the metals lead and tin that will be having a partially solubility into solid state. So here second conditions solubility of S N into P B, or you can say tin into lead that will be. Nineteen point five percentage at eutectic temperature, and similar way solubility of lead into tin, or you can say PB into SN, that will be around two point six percentage. But where at eutectic temperature? So for to draw a phase diagram for both the metals lead and tin, which will be completely soluble into liquid state. But partially soluble into solid state. So let's start to draw a phase diagram. So on to the x-axis, that will be the representation as a weight percentage of composition, and on to the y-axis, that would be representation as a temperature in degree centigrade. So first of all, making a different points onto the composition line. So let's see. So here, weight percentage of Pb or you can say lead and weight percentage of S N or you can say T. So from one end it will be the hundred percent of the lead and from another end that will be the hundred percent of T. And rest of the other points it will be look like this like a ninety ten eighty twenty and go on. On on to the temperature axis according to the maximum temperature of the Lead and tin, it will be making a scale like this: so 100, 200, 300, and 400. Similar way onto this side. Now, according to the given condition of the melting point with respect to Pb and Sn, just you can make a points. So for a Pb or you can say lead, so you can take a hundred percent. So that would be having the same melting point and freezing point. So just you can make a point at PB, which will be angle three twenty seven. So just you can make three twenty seven degree centigrade. Now for another metal as a tin, so here it will be the point of the hundred percent of the tin, which will be having angle three twenty three thirty two degree centigrade. So almost it will be around. So these two points, it will be from the melting point of the lead and tin. Now, according to the given conditions, you take the temperature. So it will be one eighty three. So almost it will be here one eighty three degree centigrade, or you can say you take the temperature. And you take the composition as a thirty eight percentage of PB. So thirty eight, it will be almost. Here, so now I would like to make a one vertical lines from the eutectic compositions as a thirty eight percentage of the PB and eutectic temperature as a one third one eighty three degree centigrade. So by the making of a vertical line and a horizontal line, so it will be intersecting over here. So that will be known as a eutectic point. Now, according to the given conditions of the solubility, because this lead and tin, which will be partially soluble into solid states, so just you can take a look here at a eutectic temperature. So this temperature line, it will be 
183 डिग्री सेंटीग्रेड और वी कैन से यू टेक टिक टेम्परेचर एस एन इन टू पीबी सो दिस साइड इट विल बी दंड्रेड परसेंट पीबी सो एस एन इट विल बी एडेड इन टू द पीबी सो दिस कंडीशन सो अराउंड नाइनटीन पॉइंट फाइव सो दिस पॉइंट सो जस्ट यू कैन मेक अ कंपोजिशन एंड टेम्परेचर सो इट विल बी नोन एज अ नाइनटीन पॉइंट फाइव परसेंटेज ऑफ एस एन एट दिस टेम्परेचर सिमिलर वे एट सिमिलर टेम्परेचर पी बी इन टू एस एन सो ऑन अदर साइड सो दैट विल बी पी बी इट विल बी एडेड इन टू द एस एन सो इट विल बी अराउंड टू पॉइंट सिक्स परसेंट इन सो ऑलमोस्ट इट विल बी हियर सो दिस टू पॉइंट सिक्स परसेंटेज ऑफ पी बी सो अकॉर्डिंग टू द सोल्यूबिलिटी कंडीशन एट अ यू टेक्टिक टेम्परेचर सो जस्ट यू कैन सी इट विल बी मेकिंग अ डिफरेंट पॉइंट लाइक दिस सो फर्स्ट पॉइंट एट अ हंड्रेड परसेंट पी बी एंड मेल्टिंग पॉइंट सो पी एट यू टेक टेक इट विल बी द क्यू एंड वंस अगेन विद द मेल्टिंग पॉइंट विद एस एन सो आर एंड टू मोर अकॉर्डिंग टू द सोल्यूबिलिटी इट विल बी एस पॉइंट एंड टी पॉइंट सो अकॉर्डिंग टू द यू टेक टेक पॉइंट आई वुड लाइक टू मेक अ लाइन विथ पी क्यू एंड आर सो लेट से so this p q and r that will be representing as a liquidus line and we all know about all the portion of the liquidus lines which will be forms 100% liquid for any compositions of lead and tin now i would like to join line so this p s to q T and R, so that will be representation as a solidus line, and this S to the room temperature and T to the room temperature, it will be known as a solvus line. So at you take the conditions, all the liquid that will be transforming into two solid, so S one plus S two. So basically, S one related with the lead and S two related with the tin. so if s1 it will be act as alpha phase of the solid and s2 that will be from tin it will be making a beta solid phase at a room temperature so just above this point it will be makes a 100% liquid and just below of this eutectic line it always makes alpha plus beta so that will be transformation is known as a eutectic transformation now before the eutectic transformation you can take any point so that will be known as a hypo eutectic transformation and if you take any point after the eutectic transformations so that will be known as a hyper eutectic transformation so if you want to learn about hypo eutectic transformation line so just you can see make a one point around 70 percentage of pb And thirty percentage of S N. So just you can make this point and make a one vertical line. So after making a one vertical lines, so it will be intersecting at a different point. So just above the liquidus lines, it will be makes a hundred percent liquid. Once it will be touch the liquidus lines, so it will be the starting point of the solidification process. So it will be the region of the hypo eutectic, or you can say majority of the lead, or you can say P B. so here it will be the liquid plus pb so that will be related with the alpha phase of pb and after this it will be alpha plus beta similar way if you want to learn about the hyper eutectic so just you can make a one point like this as a 20 percentage of the pb and 80 percent so just you can make a one vertical line so once again it will be similar way it will be intersecting at a liquidus line and solidus line so once it will be touch the liquidus line so it will be makes a starting point of the solidification process but that will be the majority of tin over this side so it will be makes liquid plus beta phase and that will be from sn and after that it will be alpha plus beta so just you can concentrate into the region of S to T and just below the U T T it always makes a two different solid, but 
according to the given conditions of the solubility of SN into PBN, PBN to SN. So just you can take a look for this region from both the sides. So it will be mixed of single solid because that will be having a 100% solubility. So according to the enrichment of the PB from this side, so according to the PB it forms alpha phase. So here it will be the only phase of the alpha. So just you can note down alpha phase. Similar way according to the majority of SN from another end. So here it will be beta phase. So for different kind of study onto the lead and tin with the hypo eutectic and hyper eutectic you will also find a one link in my description box for the in general case of the two metals completely soluble into liquid state but partially soluble into solid state with the different microstructure as well as the how to calculate the weight percentage of liquid and alpha and beta with the help of lever arm rule. So right now only a drawing a phase diagram for lead and tin systems over here which will be having a partially solubility into solid state according to the given conditions of the solubility. So I hope you understand this. So if you like this then subscribe and share Modi Mechanical Engineering tutorials. Thank you so much and keep watching.